we are reading a hand of a particular person and uh, i'm going to show the strength and weaknesses of his particular hand first we are seeing the left hand left hand is the passive hand left hand is not the active hand to refer to and uh, but still there are lots of similarities so whatever i would be telling you on the left hand they apply as well to the right hand as well so both the in both the hands the head and the lifeline they are both basically there's a big gap between them it indicates that the person is rash outgoing and uh, the person doesn't think before acting and the person never loses out on opportunities it would generally appear that the person is uh, going to be successful really soon in the earlier period of our life but somehow i would still say that uh, the person needs to contemplate more this is going to be my suggestion to him contemplate before acting contemplate before you finally make a decision so there's too much of rashness out here big gap me means rashness uh, apart from that we we have you have uh, these upward lines in both the hands that are going towards the mount of jupiter jupiter is a big planet big planet means growth in our life honor in our life and that's going to be there in his life constantly so this is these are the positive lines and these positive lines can also be seen few of them are originating from the lifeline and they are going upwards so headline whenever they go upwards it it means that the our mind is growth oriented and when our lifeline goes upwards it means ki the life is on a growth growth oriented path so uh, the, these lines are positive lines but when the events we see the headline like starting and it's progressing out here so the intersection out here this is the money line intersection so this point becomes significant this age is basically 35 so before the age of 35 this is before the age of 35 the headline is not so clear you would see few islands over it constant islands so islands are elongated periods of mental stress and sometimes these island could also mean just under the finger of uh, finger of saturn means stomach related problems or depressive tendencies any of the any of these things could apply uh, a little less might apply because the person is rash and outgoing so uh, that's a reason uh, less of them them might apply in his life uh, one more negative aspect i am going to say before telling few positive aspect and this we say on the heart line this is basically the heart line and the heart line has got many branches over out here branching out here is is okay it's a, it's not a bad sign it means love for children uh and people, children basically easily get attracted to such a person but as the line progresses you would notice that the line progresses and there are few side by side lines that are progressing side by side and then there's a, there's a uh, there's a gap in middle and this branches are constantly out 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 here see these branches what it does is they are hanging on to your heart imagine like imagine this is this is the mind area and this is the lower portion of our body and this is the heart line so this is where your heart is and imagine this to be the physical heart and these branches are hanging on to to the heart like ropes are hanging on and they are exerting few weight also and there's weight also hanging on to it so what's going to happen is that what's going to happen is that there's when these branches are hanging it creates stress on your heart it creates anxiety it creates palpitation so the person needs to like uh, eat right drink right and have a very regimented kind of lifestyle that's the only way the person is likely to achieve more success 
and these branches over the heart line could also mean flirtatious nature the person is flirting flirtatious doesn't mean only flirting with your with your work it could mean also flirting with in a relationship as well both these things could apply or only a single might apply flirting at work means that the person is about to get a result in their life and suddenly they change their course of action and these people kind of creates many goal post so it's better to have a single goal post instead of having multiple goal post so heart line although this is the line of emotions this is the line of sensitivity and uh, all these things but we also see success on this line because it tells about it tells about the physical condition of our heart and if our heart is strong the chances of a success basically increase manifold because what happens is that when a when a bad situations come or a difficult situation arises uh, what is going to happen is that stress is going to develop out here and stress is going to like uh, play uh, play out heavily onto us right now this person is going to be uh, might be very young like i i don't know his age but probably 25 or so so in the earlier period of our 25 or 30 uh in the earlier period of our life we are able to handle this kind of stress very easily but as we grow older somewhere at the age of 45 or so 45 or 50 this stress becomes unbearable and our capacity to uh face stress becomes lower so we need to make a strong heart whatever the cardiologist tells us we have to do in that particular thing and a heart line that is simple this heart line is not simple there are many branches and overlapping and all a, a heart line that is simple brings in samarpan bhav samarpit hona apne kaam ke liye if a person is samarpit toward towards his work the likelihood of his success increases manifold a person who is keep on like keep on shifting uh, his goal post or is is flirting the chances become less uh, either he has to be extremely lucky although we uh, see few upward lines out here uh, in the right hand i would be showing the luck is there uh, but apart from luck what brings in more success in our life is our qualities that bring in success so the line for quality is seen just under the fourth finger the mercury finger the mercury finger is the shortest mercury planet is the smallest so the finger is the shortest and in this particular area you would notice that the person has got perpendicular lines these long lines targeting towards the mount of mercury these lines are generally considered to be extremely good these lines are also called liver lines also sometimes uh so uh in this area i have i have mentioned regarding stomach but because i see a strong line the possibility of uh liver functioning is going to be good uh so uh, so i am just negating what i have already said so stomach related problems or mental related problems could be different kind of this thing uh so uh having these perpendicular lines is one of the best signs out here it means that the person has got skills and skills can be mathematical skills could be verbal skills it skills all these kind of skills and the person is able to communicate his his ideas and his vision to the people so this is considered to be good, to be good uh and uh, many people what they have is that they have got weaker lines out here weak lines have got lesser significance some people have got very very weak kind of lines those weak lines are 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 as good as nothing and many of many people they what they also have is that they kind of have criss crossing kind of lines such people basically kind of miscommunicate and uh, they are not able uh, they may, might make major miscalculations but having strong mercury line brings in skill and skills of all all kind it could be some people are lawyers some people are writers so different people would have different meaning 
you would also notice that on the headline there appears to be an upward line from the headline moving after the age of 35 uh, so this age i have mentioned that on the money line this portion is before the age of 35 this portion on the headline is before the age of 35 this portion on the money line is after the age of 35 and this portion on the headline is after the age of 35 so you notice that there's an upward line this all this line is also seen in the right hand as well uh, i'll just move on to the right hand uh, in, in one moment before mentioning one or two things uh, the line of sun the carrier line appears to be better in the left hand and the line starts at this particular point so just before the headline before it touches the headline it starts so somewhere at the age of 32 33 it starts and uh, it progresses so there's a slight shift somewhere in the middle uh, so it's going in a particular direction a shifts a little bit this, this way so few changes at the age of 44 and the strong line comes more after the age of 53 and there's a V like Y like formation also this V or Y like formation is generally considered to be good uh, uh, it's a it's a, it's a it's a good sign I explain it in a different way like good energies are penetrating from the fingers and they're getting trapped in the middle somewhere out here so it means means success during this particular age uh, so this happens after the age of 53 and uh, these upper lines can be seen twice so the either the person upgrades his education uh, uh, during that particular period or his mind basically uh, like makes him better better off uh, due to some idea on this hand uh, regarding the money line we would notice that there are few branches that are come coming and joining into the main money line sometimes this particular age becomes a prominent age and the age is approximately 27 28 that's when some help might come to such a person either it could be marriage or it could be help from some unknown person or a boss helping or the female boss helping or something to that effect and somewhere at this particular age what happens is that the line is dissecting into two again a violet formation so this age becomes significant uh, around the age of 30 or so uh, it is a good sign and uh, but as we progress a little bit further another line comes and joins in tries to join in so this line basically becomes the prominent line so new work and and this is progressing and one line going inward so this line is not considered to be good it, it is said that a line if, if it goes inwards means that uh, we suffer fuel uh, whatever we have accumulated we we lose that uh, uh, but as the lines are better as we grow uh, as as a person grows uh, there's progress in life uh, that's the reason I would I wouldn't uh, say it too bad and because the cell line is good the possibility of a work remains good but breaks in uh, breaks in our money line could also have effects on our personal life as well and uh, so we move on to the right hand this is the right hand some similar things i am going to be speaking in this particular hand as well uh, i'll just repeat once more these upward lines from the headline the, this is good few backward lines from the headline going towards the mount of mars aggression and fire like we become more aggressive in our thought process or uh, we become more angry and that's when wrong decisions might come up these branches over the heart line uh, attachments bringing in stress and anxiety and uh, we kind of flirting with our work uh, so again a good strong mercury line is good in in this particular hand so a good sign trouble out here so stomach related issues it could be there these upward lines which i've already told you these are considered to be good and these lines that go towards the jupiter 
bring in position power and these upper line towards the Saturn mount brings in more money and the line towards the sun bring in more name and fame. So these lines are somewhere after the age of uh, uh, 50, 53. That's when uh, these lines become prominent. A downward line is basically a negative line. It, it kind of brings in loss, loss of health or loss of wealth. So this needs more care. It appears that uh, the person has got a, the person's got an island like formation on the line of money. This is the line of money. So island is generally not considered to be good because it brings in a little bit of hardships, uh, uh, trouble. So that's the reason I, I, I say that uh, it's better to, to have a simple line. One more thing I need to add was uh, that the heart line is ending on the amount of Saturn. These people are good money managers. They manage money well. And uh, uh, the inclination towards money is there. Uh, and that brings in more money. And generally good businessmen, they have this kind of indication that the money line is, uh, uh, is kind of uh, ending on the Mount of Saturn. This is the Mount of Saturn. So, uh, so it's a, this is a, this is a good sign. Uh, as in the left hand, the right hand, we, you notice that the sun line is much stronger out here compared to this particular portion. So more success after the age of fifty-three. And uh, one more line. Uh, this is the lifeline, and there's an inward line that is out here. So what this inward line is very significant, it is starting on the Mount of Mars. And Mount of Mars, uh, you would also notice that there are many lines out here. But at the same time, there's a, there's a more stronger line that is out here. So what it does is it kind of brings in support. And support during this period of hardship. So a Mars line, whenever present, it makes a person a fighter. They fight against odd situation. They fight against difficult situation, and they come out as winners. So uh, this is a good sign to have, and uh, uh, and uh, we are we have the, that capacity to fight against difficult people and difficult circumstances, and that brings in success. Although these uh, lines that are crossing over out here, these are basically trouble lines, and trouble lines. Uh, Wherever they go and strike, like they strike somewhere at this particular age, so age 35, there, there are few problems. So at various places, these these lines are striking, although major happens somewhere at the age of 35. Uh, so uh, we would complete the reading while we are talking over the phone. And that's it out here. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel. Bye and take care.